All right, we're doing something a little different today. We stayed up late last night, Eric and I, installing this fishing rod on one of my drones. We're gonna do a little uh, drone fishing in the North Pacific today. We got a beautiful ocean, like a rare day to come out and do this. I've always wanted to drop this drone down on one of these crazy offshore pinnacles that are just loaded with uh, bottom fish, link cod, all kinds of stuff. So uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing eats this, uh, this drone, but uh, I guess you'll get to see it here on Live the Boat if it happens. So we're gonna dump the M2 over. And uh, of course we're drifting here too. Down she goes. That's so cool. Yeah, so we gotta get off the edge of this kelp, but look at that, isn't that beautiful? So that's what the top of that pinnacle looks like. You can see here on our sonar what that looks like. Um, that's all that kelp on the bottom. So we'll kind of get off of that. We'll get in a big school of fish. And we'll, we'll make another drop here. Okay, looks like we found a bunch of rockfish. I think we'll try to make another drop with the drone on top of that. This way, forward a little bit. This way, <laughs> and so down. Cool. We were in about 40, 50 feet of water. There's one. Look at that link cut. Look at that link. Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come on, buddy. He's coming right back. Oh, he's right coming right us. back. Coming right back. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Look at that guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at him swimming through the kelp. Oh, my Look at that. I didn't even know they were in the kelp. Oh, like look that. at that. Just a gorgeous fish. There's some black rock fish right there. They are not concerned about this drone, right? Boy, they love that kelp, don't they? Look at that one. Whew, that's a nice one. There's some fish tacos right there, boys. Let's go ahead and resurface. We're gonna find a nice clean spot here without all the kelp, you know, to run the drone. We'll throw in a lighted little lure. We were up late last night monkeying around with this thing laughing our asses off. And then these are these uh, LED fishing lights. A lot of the bottom fish really like these, at least that's the theory, so. He's in this bucket and test it out. Yeah, that one's going, there we go. You leave the tag well, end on it right. <laughs> oh no, you gotta trim the tag end off, you know. <laughs> yeah, this is really technical stuff we're doing right here, you know. It's gotta look good. Okay, good Lord, I can't believe we're doing this. Okay, fish, we're coming for you. Oh, one's got it! Oh! No way! Yeah, one just bit it! Oh! Yeah, one just came over and bit it. Look at the rockfish. God, they're everywhere. Look at that. Clouds of them. Oh, oh. lingcod! Oh. oh! Big one! Look at that lingcod! Whoa! Look at that guy. He's just swimming right through the middle of all the rockfish. Oh, oh, he's coming in. Look at him, he's looking. He's looking, he wants a piece of this. He's like, can I fit that drone in my mouth? Look at the rockfish. Look at that, there's a wing cut. Look at him, he's suspended. Look at that. Like 20 feet off the ball? Yeah. He's swimming right through all the rockfish. Oh, oh. there he is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of like, what are you doing here? Come on, buddy, come on. Well, let's go ahead and bring it up. We're going to put a different lure on there. Up we come. <laughs> Look at this. There's the rock fish. Have you ever seen fish do that? I mean, I've seen... Yeah, we got krill here. Look at that. They're feeding on, on krill. Yep. All right, now we're going to throw on the real deal here. This is one of the Gibbs lighted squid. I think this thing's going to be money for link cod, halibut, everything. But we're going to go ahead and hang this on there now. And... Uh, fly it through one of these big schools of rockfish. And uh, now we'll really get to see what's gonna happen here. Gotta be a wing cut in there somewhere, huh? Cruising around. Come on, come and get it. You know you want it. You know, we could have put a longer hole on there. Is that thing blinking? Yeah. Look at the krill. Look at that. Wow. Look at the krill that they're feeding on. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the krill. That's what they're feeding on. On the surface over there. Look at that. Yeah, they're just hammering that krill. 
One after another, they go up and hit it. Let's go down. Where's Mr. Link Cut? I know you're down there. It's gotta be right underneath. Just buying his time. Like right there. There he is, I knew he'd be down there. Look at that. Yep, there he is. Cruising around, waiting for his chance. So we're at 15% battery on the iPad. We're gonna have to shut her down here for a little bit and put a charge on this, but uh, man, we've seen some cool stuff here. We didn't get a bite on the lighted squid yet. Yep. All right, it's time to come up, boys. Yep, we gotta get this iPad charged up. This was too short. It was just hanging too close to here and the fish were getting spooked by the drone. We had a couple we had a couple takers, they tried to take it, but we think we can get more with a longer rod. So we're gonna extend it about close to three feet. Everything about this just feels wrong, but it's what you gotta do when you're an underwater drone fisherman, so. There we go. All right, welcome back. We're uh, drone fishing 2.0 today. We went back and regrouped back at the shop. Eric doctored this thing up with a little longer rod here. Uh, got the lure away from the drone a little bit. We got a nice little steelhead jig on here. I think this is gonna be the ticket. And uh, we're gonna run this thing down there. See if we can't catch a fish on the drone. Got a bunch of rockfish on the sonar. Let's chuck this thing over the side. At the last second here, we decided to cut the, uh, the hook off out of uh, fear of hooking a giant halibut or a uh, link cut or something so we'll at least get them biting though they should jump all over that thing all right let's go there they are there we go now we're talking here we go all right come on come on come to captain rob you can do it here we go okay come on come on come and get it oh come on Come on, you know you want it. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna put it right in front of your face. Come on, come and get it. I don't know, take her so far. Just have one take a look at it. Come on. Oh, man, they just turned away at the last second. Coming up. Had some interested parties, but uh, no takers. I'm gonna give it one more try here. You can see how, how far back there we are. We're, gosh, I don't know, we probably had 100 yards of line out. Once the drone goes down, you really don't know where it is, so we'll pull it in here. If we run the battery to get it in, it runs the battery down. See, if, usually shut it off, pull it in, and then go make another dive. And uh, I don't know, you can get, oh, maybe four or five dives out of it, you know. Kind of fun though, looking around down there. Had a couple interested parties, but boy, they, they sure didn't want that white one. We might cut that off and put a little pink one on. Maybe they'll want that one, so. Ah, we're going with pink. Maybe that'll look a little bit more like the little uh, krill they're eating. Throw that in there. Come on, droney. Get us a fish. Lots of rockfish down there. There they are. Come on. Oh, we got it. We got one. Oh, he's got it. Oh, they love the pink one. Here comes another one. Pink. We There's another match. one. We had to match the hatch. Oh, he's another one just grabbed it. Look at that. He's got it in his mouth. I'm going to set the hook. Oh, they love that pink one. Here comes another one. Come on. Here's another one. Boy, they're liking that pink one. And boy, they're all around it now. Come on. Come on. Oh yeah, here they come. Here they come. Come on. Got one chasing it. Oh, come on. Oh, they're looking at it. Oh, another one just bit it. <laughs> and another one. Boy, they come up and they put their nose right on it. I think it would have had a little shrimp scent on it, you know? It would probably go below. Oh man. So I guess if you got a shrimp fly on there, I guess you use the, the pink one. Here's another one. Now, let's let's oh, yeah. back troll it, back troll it a little bit. Oh, oh, there they come. Oh, oh. come on, come on. Oh, oh. <laughs> put his nose right up to mm -hmm. it. Man, they just wouldn't even look at the white one. And this one, they're, oh, oh. oh there we go. He's hey, going. oh, here they come. Oh, that one. oh. 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 <laughs> another one. And that's something, just change the color and boom, they're all over it. I think we uh, accomplished what we set out to do here. Drone fishing 2.0 was a success. We'll bring her up to the surface here, boom. Again, this served no purpose whatsoever other than just pure entertainment, but uh, you notice how when we put that little pink jig on there, 
they went crazy on that. That's a steelhead jig. And uh, anyway, we're gonna take the rod off, but we just had to try this. And uh, this is one of my drones. Used this a couple years ago. This hasn't been out in a while, but it's just a great little drone. And uh, yeah, once again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week.